Learn English easily. Chapter 1 My Hobbies Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm very fond of spending my free time in various interesting ways. I believe hobbies are a great way to relax and learn new things. So, I have several hobbies that I love to do whenever I have some free time. One of my favorite hobbies is reading. I love to sit in a cozy corner of my house with a good book. Reading takes me to new worlds and introduces me to fascinating characters. It's like going on an adventure without ever leaving home. Whether it's a thrilling mystery, a magical fantasy, or an exciting science fiction novel, I enjoy them all. Another hobby I enjoy is gardening. I have a small garden where I grow flowers and vegetables. I love the feeling of soil between my fingers and the joy of seeing plants grow. Gardening teaches me patience and gives me a sense of accomplishment when I can finally see the fruits of my labor. I also like to paint. With brushes and colors, I express my thoughts and feelings on canvas. Painting is a way for me to relax and let my creativity flow. Sometimes, I paint landscapes inspired by my reading adventures or abstract art that reflects my mood. On sunny days, I enjoy going for bike rides. Riding through the park or around the neighborhood is refreshing. It's a fun way to exercise and enjoy nature. Sometimes I pack a small picnic and stop at a beautiful spot to enjoy the view. Cooking is another hobby I find enjoyable. Experimenting with different recipes and ingredients is like a culinary adventure. I love to try making dishes from different cultures. Cooking is not just about eating. It's about exploring flavors and sharing meals with friends and family. Lastly, I love to write. I keep a journal where I write about my day, dreams, and thoughts. Writing is a way for me to reflect on my life and capture memories. I spend my free time engaged in various hobbies that bring me joy and satisfaction. Each hobby offers something unique, whether it's the thrill of adventure, the beauty of nature, the expression of creativity the pleasure of taste, or the introspection of writing. For me, these hobbies are not just ways to pass the time. They are paths to learning, relaxation, and happiness. Chapter 2 A Teacher Daily Routine My day starts with excitement and a big hope in my heart. As a teacher for little kids, my daily routine is more than just doing things on a list. It's about helping young kids think and feel. When I walk into my classroom, a place full of bright pictures and small chairs, I can feel the excitement of the kids ready to learn. Every morning, one of the best parts of my day is saying hello to each child as they come in. When I say good morning and see their big smiles or quiet nods, I feel a special bond with them. It's a moment full of happiness and it makes the rest of the day feel special. After everyone is in their place, we start our morning circle. This is a special time when we sing songs, tell stories, and share things with each other. It's like we're a small family, learning how to be kind, patient, and amazed by the world around us. I see how excited and curious they get when we talk about new things. It makes me remember. Why I love being a teacher so much. After our circle time, 
We move on to doing more organized things. I help them learn through play. We might count colorful blocks, learn letters with fun games, or pretend we're on exciting adventures. Each thing we do is made to help them think creatively and solve problems. When I see them understand something new, I feel so proud and happy. Lunchtime isn't just for eating. It's a chance to learn important things like sharing, using good manners, and choosing healthy foods. When we eat together and share stories and laughs, it reminds me how much I can help them grow, not just in school stuff, but in being good friends and healthy eaters too. In the afternoon, we go outside to play. I watch the kids run, jump, and discover new things with lots of energy. This time helps them get stronger and teaches them how to play nicely with others, which is just as important as learning numbers and letters. As the day starts to end, we all sit down together for one last story. This calm time with the wonderful world of stories helps us feel close in a special way. It makes the friendship we've made during the day even stronger before we all say goodbye. When it's time for the kids to go home, they tell their parents about the fun things they did today. I watch them leave and feel happy inside. The hugs, the thank yous, and their exciting stories are my special gifts. They make me realize how lucky I am to help shape their first years of learning. After everyone leaves, I clean up the room and get it ready for tomorrow. This makes me feel really good. I know I've made the classroom a safe and happy place for the kids to learn and play. It's a great feeling. As I lock the door, I'm already excited for another day. This isn't just a job for me. It's what I love to do. I get to help each child learn and grow, one day at a time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.